Hey everybody, me and Buster want to say welcome to Little Cahaba Junkin, where we share a whole lot of junkin and even more Jesus. Enjoy our video. Hey, Michelle. Hi, how are you? I'm so good. Thank you so much for letting us come and take a tour of your beautiful home. You What's are again? welcome. Added some springtime stuff. And a little more decorating since you've been here last. Everything is always so pretty and de details everywhere at Michelle's house. I know all of our subscribers are gonna love it too. And if y'all don't know Michelle, I don't know how because she's unforgettable, but Michelle, I just want you to introduce yourself in case we have some new friends here. Hi, I'm Michelle, I'm with House of Five. And if you don't know the story, Kayla and I met several years ago at a, a market event I was doing and she said, hey, can I video? I was like, sure. She said, as long as you say House of Five. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Anyway, we've just become friends over time, yes. and we just love to get together, different decorating styles, changing all the time, but anyway, we're so glad to have y'all here, and I hope you enjoy a little peek into the real House of Five. Michelle, we'll just start here in your living room. Is this a new chair? This is a new chair. I love uh, it. We are a cat family, and we're not going to discuss that my husband bought me Y'all probably seen it before if you watched the videos. That real pretty neutral color recliner with the um, little nail head trim. Yeah, the cats destroyed it. <laughs> they thought it was a scratching post and I couldn't deal with it anymore. So this is actually a funny story, but this came from a storage unit that my husband acquired and I stole well, it. <laughs> perfect. And I absolutely love it. It's the most comfortable thing. And it's also a recliner. I love and the it's detail. The material they can't scratch up. So. I love it. And Michelle, tell us about your new decor style. What it's called? So the new decor style um, is just called Grand Millennial, and basically, um, I think we talked about it in the fall. It's just a mix. It's still vintage things, kind of just remember things from your grandma's house, and now you want to have them for yourself. So. Um, it's called Grand Millennial, so it's a mix of grandma style and then what the millennials like. But uh, I'm not a millennial, but I still that love it. It's so cute. Okay, that was a hack that I literally just saw on, I think it was TikTok or Instagram, about a week and a half ago. I so sent it to cute. Ashley. I said, This is so genius. I need one. And would you believe Jeff and I went to Gaston last weekend and there sat one? I was that squealing. Is so I was so cute. excited. So I got that. I love that because the tissue box, you can't make it look cute. Yes. And yes. I love this rug. The rug is just from um, at home. So. I don't remember where I got those, but there are six of them, but three of them are put away right now because they have spring stuff out. And then this little ceramic basket, this just came together on one haul. <laughs> so I got so the little ceramic basket at a thrift store. And then the same place I got the glass globe I got these little pearl eggs, and they're not old, but they remind me of those Christmas ornaments I yes. already collecting yes. with the pins in them. Yes. And so I really love that. And then I already had the little vintage bunny. So, so I popped cute. him in there and snagged some carrots. If you need some spring decor, at home has some good stuff right now. So. I haven't been in so long. I need yeah. to go. And of course, that's still all family stuff in there. Um, we keep all that stuff. Matter of fact, Ashley. If you don't know, Ashley's my oldest daughter. She came over the other day to clean, and uh, we were talking about the stuff in the cabinet. And I said, I know I've got a lot of stuff. I don't want y'all to feel like you have to keep everything. I said, but the stuff in this cabinet is family stuff. And she said, okay. And I said, I'll probably go through and write an A, 
a L or a J yes. <laughs> on it in case y'all don't know who's is who. So. And I love like the Peter Rabbit. That is yeah, so that was sweet. Jeff. That is adorable. And the little teddy bears were mine. So so cute. I love how you just tied the little lace or the little velvet on the lap. So cute. I had tied them on there for Christmas, and I liked them, so I left them. Girl, just <laughs> look. That's what I tell everybody. There's no right or wrong. You just do what you. And that little like. white uh, tulip in the glass that was on the Target uh, dollar spot, the bullseye. Um, so I got that for $5. Over here? Yeah. That is cute. I thought it was cute. For sure. And I love your fireplace. It's so pretty. Yeah, my neighbor whitewashed her brick. Oh. And I thought, oh, I really like that. But then I was scared that I wouldn't like it later. You know how much I like to change things yes. up. Yes. So it afraid. might be hard to take it off. Yeah. That's something I want to show y'all throughout this tour is vessels. Getting all kinds of vintage vessels for your plants so cute now a lot of the older ones don't have drain holes and things like that yes and you don't want to get root rot so um you can just sprinkle some pebbles in the bottom for the drainage that is most smart. plant people yes. know that yes. but i was a newbie at plants and i i would kill everything i touched <laughs> but now i have discovered i can do house plants yes so, and they're so this fun is a cute little vintage one and it's an easy way to add decor, and they're normally hidden out in the garages at estate sales. Yes, nobody. I and have I just get them and clean them up. And in so. the sheds. Yes, out in the sheds. Of course, I still have my collection of clocks. Okay, so I'm gonna tell y'all. I'll try to be quick about it. A little story about the dog. I'm obsessed with the Staffordshire stuff. I'll show you some more I have, but um, they're real expensive. Yes. And we had gone. I think it's been two weekends ago to a sale this guy opens his storage building okay i don't know monthly like every other something like that yeah. when it's warm weather and it is filled with leftover estate sale stuff oh so it's like a treasure trove. yeah so we got a ton of stuff for the booth. Yes. well we get up to the front there's this table and um just tons of stuff on it and ashley sees those and I, you know there was other people there i said get those right now yes <laughs> The side whisper. Yes. And it just so happens, there were two of them. I only kept one. Yes. I'm going to sell one. I kept one. It's an old vintage um, inkwell. I love it. And the sign on the table said everything on this table, $1. Oh, my goodness gracious. And how much, how much would it be on eBay, probably? Um, They range two to 300 for a, a pair. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, yeah, that is the sale. I think that I, I can afford to keep one. Yes. I and just, sell one. I, so, that's insane. I'm just, and they're both were in excellent condition. And I'm just so, a dollar. so stinking excited. Well, you're just, that was a little God wink. He it said, Here, was. Here's it your doll. Here's your dollar Stafford child. Yes. Yes. So cute. I bought that precious little bunny from a vendor friend of mine. I love that. And another trick that I do is um, I buy these really pretty frames mm -hmm. at estate sales. Or um, TJ Maxx and At Home is coming out with a lot of Grand Millennial stuff. Okay. That kind of lets you know. Yeah, that it's coming that around. something's yeah. coming around if you're seeing replicas yes. in the local stores. Yes. That's not antique stores. Yes. So, I'll buy the frames at... You know, like I said, at yeah. home, TJ Maxx, estate sales. And then I will just, I don't know if it's okay to do that, but I will go online. Yeah. And you can even go on Etsy and buy prints yes. for like $3 and yes. print them off. Anyway, so I just go online and print what I like to match the colors yes. I'm going with. And then I just frame them. Girl, so, everybody does that. So cute. I am on the hunt for a third of this. It doesn't matter what month it is. I so I can move that somewhere else because I'd like to have three. Well, girl, you used to have a ton because I know you sold some to Penny. And then I changed my style. I, I don't need that. I know. I was like, I know for sure That's me what and happens. Penny That's have, what happens. have bought those yes. exact types of prints from you. Yes. Another little secret of mine is I love to change my throw pillows. Well, dang throw pillows are at least... $19.99 to $24.99 yes. for a pillow. So, 
uh, go on Amazon and start buying the covers. So, so you can either, I don't know what's in here. It could be a stuffer. No, nope, it was a yellow pillow. Okay. So you can buy pillow inserts at, you know, Michael's. Or if you just, even if you have Christmas, whatever, just yes, change it. Yes, but that it. was yeah. clearly a, other, a different throw pillow. Yeah. Uh, they normally come in 18 by 18 or 20 by 20. So, so um, I've just started buying just the covers it's and what, swapping them. Yes. Yeah. So that whole couch is covers. And also, they're way easier to store than they having are. thousands and of pillows. And you can do the seasons, and then that one's a cover, too. Hey, little fella. That's Binks. Yeah. He's a sweet boy. He's just has such a hard life. He loves that chair. So pretty. And Michelle's beautiful cabinet. Her, her yes, marketplace fine. I still haven't with it, but you will notice a big difference. Yes, inside of it. I put all of our pottery in um, the kitchen in a cabinet, and then the dishes that were on top that were his granny's, we have started using. So, um, I have always loved colored glass. It's hard to see with the reflection, but you can open those two middle doors if you want. Um, I have always loved the colored glass, oh. and so I decided that would be a way that I could display some of it so every time cute. we go picking sean and i find some kind of colored glass that i want <laughs> so i love the purple yes so so cute so i'm using that cabinet for that I, I wish it had some lights in it so i'm gonna see if i can find some that just yeah, you can, I'm sure you can get some like off Amazon. Yeah, oh, this is so. I love how you did your good little. Yes, that's a good now little tip. Now you know I probably got about four sets of napkin rings in the booth. I didn't have any here because y'all. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't keep the tables. No, this heck, is, this is no. Just for the video. Uh, but, um, yes, absolutely. I, these I mean, are yes. vintage dishes that I bought at Vintage Market Days last spring. Um, and we do so use these every day. Cute. So. They just so happen those. to be springtime colors, so I thought we'll all set the table. I love that, and I love that. That's so cute. Yes, I bought that from a, a Grand Millennial Facebook page I follow. People sell stuff on there, and she shipped it to me because I thought that was so cute. So it's actually cute. a candle holder, but I don't use it for candles. I love it. And I told Michelle I really want her dog over here. He's yeah. so sweet. <laughs> I love And you've got another vessel that's so pretty. Yes. Put your plants in there. It makes it so pretty. It is. House plants just. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. Put that in there. Yeah, Michelle's phone is starting yeah. to talk. She wants to be in the video. Yes, she does. Siri does. But yeah, house plants just just warm, just make the space feel so. They really do. Just makes it feel so homey and cozy. Yes, I'm actually getting ready to take a, a plant like that over to the booth and just leave it in the booth because I go over there plenty enough to water it. Yes, and those pothos plants don't take a lot. Exactly. I love that. That's I so love cute. that. And again, it was at um, Home Goods. Okay, so they are doing a they lot. They are doing, yeah. So if you can't get your hands on the, the real old stuff, oh. I just like to mix it both in. Of course, we have another kitty cat that that looks like our Nico. Um, and then the clock, we... I was just telling Kayla, we just got that repaired. We've had it for a couple years, but it wasn't working. We got it from Jess' um, granny's house, and we thought it was hers, but then the clock guy that was working on it said it was from like 1850 or 1860, so we knew that wasn't right. So we called his mom, and it was actually his grandfather's mother. You got to turn to the right. I'm like, oh, I don't want to tear this up. <laughs> Kayla's going to show you what's kind of cool about it. He has That's told so us neat. that the majority of the clocks don't have the labels in them anymore. They're gone, and um, no one does the reverse painting anymore. And this um, is what she's talking about. Yeah. Like, this is actually yes. hand-painted. It is not a stencil. Yeah, and again, I'm not a professional. We were just going by what he told us. So, um, But it's working. Uh, the time is skipping forward just a little bit, so I think we're going to take it back to him and get him to look at it again, but he said the case and everything was in really, really good condition. So, yeah, it's really uh, pretty. We're excited to have it going again. Beautiful. Of course, it's birds. You know, I love birds. Of course you do. <laughs> You're a bird lady. Yes. And look at that brass 
planter with the boat, the tassels on it. That's so cute. I love what kind it. of plant is this? That is adorable. You know, I, I don't know the name of it, but they were on clearance after Valentine's Day at Home Depot. Oh, they're really yeah, that's so really I cute. Yeah, I two and put in there, and it has really sprouted being in that window. Yes, I love it. Yeah. And this is her other pieces now. You sold it at the booth, didn't you? I did. So this used to be a white chippy piece and this one was in the booth. And so I traded and that white chippy one, I had put that same wallpaper in and you gotta pull kind of hard on this one. I'll let you do it. I don't want to tear and, it. And um, it sold, I think within a week and a half yes. it was sold. So uh, I'm really loving teapots right now. Again, if y'all know me, I love things, and I'll do it for a little while, and then I'll change my mind. But I'm not spending loads of money on yes. stuff. Like, I might pay $6 for a teapot, yes. you know. Anyway, this was a, a framed a little postcard that was given to us on our trip to Ireland by one of the hotels we stayed in. So, I framed it. I love that. It's not just a little random picture, but... I know Kayla loves these, mm. but look at this one. I came across. This has to be a child's tea set or something. <laughs> I'm but I thought, I know, it's so stinking cute. That is adorable. And so I said it on there. I love it. I, I can't it. hardly see I what it says. I can't either. I don't That's think old. it's anything, but I see the word China. China. <laughs> anyway, so, um, and then these are the other uh, Staffordshire, but you can get different animals, but these are cats, but. Um, so cute. And my husband gave me the little birdie. Because Michelle another, loves birds. I know. There's one in my bedroom, too. So, I think there's one in the bathroom, too. He gave me three of them. So, um, anyway, I wallpapered this one when I bought it, brought it home, too, of course, with birds. So, um, I just love the ease of, if y'all haven't heard about doing the wallpaper, yes. it's just a peeling stick. Yes. If you get tired of it, just peel it back off. It's just I love not it. a big deal. It's so, so cute. Anyway. And brightens it up so much. And we are now in Michelle's kitchen. I love all your baskets. So yes, I do love the baskets. Jeff's mom has um, had bought us those when we got married, and she'd buy them over the years. And so I, I like to keep those up there. And Michelle and her hubby did this backsplash theirself. And where did you buy the peel and stick tile? Amazon. <laughs> and peel it and stick, so and it's still sticking. <laughs> It looks so You know, and it just amazes me because your kitchen, you know, you've got humidity. Yes. It gets hot in here. And, and it, it, it feels I like mean, tile. It, it, yeah. It's, it's hard. Yeah. yeah. It's texture. And, um, yeah, it's done great. And you just wipe it off. That is awesome. And it even does good over behind the oven and stoves. So. Yeah. So, it hadn't melted off, which is, that's what yeah. I was really worried about is, like, the heat, you know. Yes. Um, rugs. So cute. Rugs are hard to find in, like, cutesy things. Yes. But if you are haven't heard of them, or even if you have, you're probably already obsessed. But Rifle Paper Company. Like, they do note cards, wrapping paper, planners, everything. Yeah. They have home stuff. And you wow. can find Rifle Paper Company items at TJ Maxx and home goods okay. um, for cheaper. You can yeah. also get them on Wayfair and stuff like yeah. that. But um, I just love these. I got yes, these at two completely different so places. Cute. And I just and they Googled, match. Yeah, I Googled what image that was. Yeah. And found the other one online. So I bought that one at so home goods cute. and then I ordered that one online. And that one was on clearance. It was like a last spring love or something. That. So that for 30 something dollars. Oh, that's good. Yeah. For a rug. For that's a really special, good. Yes. Yeah. This is my new find from this weekend. Again, this is, I don't like to pay lots of money for things, um, but I'm really liking the colored glass yes. right now. And Jeff and I were up in Gadsden and I found this sweet little basket and it had strawberries That's on so it. so sweet. And again, I wasn't going to buy it. And Jeff's like, just get the basket. If you, I said, no, no, I'm not going to pay. It was like 24 or 26. Yeah. It wasn't outrageous, yeah. but it's more than $6 at the yes. thrift store. So, but I bit the bullet and I got it. So, because I thought I could use it for Easter and then it'll go in the cabinet. It's so, so cute. These are my new celery dishes. I, I had a spoon rest and Ashley accidentally broke it when she cleaned. And then she found these this set of three at the thrift store. At the thrift store. For $2.99. And she bought them for me as a replacement. So. That is wild. Because uh, that is so in right now. They're like the, the lettuce, cabbage ware. Yes. I'm going to put. 
a request out to, to your community, Kayla. Yes. If you have one of these cabbage plates or know where to get them, I only found three, and I would like to have yeah, four. four. Um, so I just you, grab them, you know, yeah. like a sandwich or whatever. We just keep them out. Um, but I dug them out of a bin at the thrift store. Like, they were stocking, and I was like, let me just Michelle, out. you are <laughs> such a buzzard. You are so lucky. Let me sneak those out. They, you know, because those right now are so popular. This is something kind of funny I'll tell y'all about. Okay. So, this is from an estate sale. I have some sweet ladies that let me come to their pre-sale before yeah. they open the estate sale if they have a ton of stuff. Yeah. And I was wandering around, and I literally squealed. Yeah. And I went straight to ladies. I'm like, girls, y'all are not going to believe this. And she was like, what? I was like, yeah. this is my son's initials. Yes. John Carter Womack. Yes, that's what I was just saying. And I said, is. he's 20 right now, and he probably don't care a thing about this. Yeah. But one day, this will be very pretty in his house, or yeah. his wife may yeah. like it. And so, I showed it to him, and it was what I expected. Yeah. He was like... Okay. Yeah. I think your wife will like it one day. Yes. Anyway, so for John now, Carter. yes, for now, John Carter Womack has a spot. His little, little and, John Carter Womack. Yes. I just loved it. Those things are expensive. Yes. And then to get it etched like that, again, love that. A little vintage planter. And I just put uh, this is from Trader Joe's. Y'all go hit Trader Joe's for the plants. So cute. And those are adorable. Yes, Lauren keeps trying to take those. Tell her she can't. She have loves them. those. And then look at these. They're um they got little shells on them. So I got cute. these at that sale I was telling you about in Birmingham that's once a month. So cute. Love them. Love them. So these weren't my boots. Pretty. I stole them. I do that all the time. I'm like, I'll be in I my need boots. Those. I'm like, I'm taking these home. Yes. Like, okay. I need those. <laughs> Pretty. Everything is just so pretty, Michelle. Thank you. That chair. I used love that to chair. Be in not my. Where was that chair? It used to be in the front bedroom, in the corner, and I carried it into here. This used to have a barrel back chair, and it wasn't very comfortable. It, so this is what we call the girls' chair. Yes. Which means everything that we need to send to the girls' Goes houses, in this chair. Yeah, goes in this house. <laughs> goes in it. that chair when they come over, so. I love it. And yeah. another vessel. Yep, another vessel. That one does have a drain hole, so with that one, I went ahead and put the rocks in the bottom, filled so it, cute. and I just put it in the sink when I yes. need to water it. I could get those little plastic trays, but I, I don't really like them. So. I know it. Somebody it kind of with some cute ones. takes away from the whole aesthetic, yes. don't it? I about died when I came across that lamp. Where'd you I, find it at? I don't even remember, but I was so, I, mean, I figured, it's like so polished. I figured you were going to say like, you got it for 50 cents at the thrift store. Well, you know, I don't pay much for anything. <laughs> but, you know, I just had to put a lampshade on it. I mean, I so love cool. it. It's so pretty. <laughs> love it. And I love that piece. Yes, it's. I've only got a few chippy things left, but I, I just, I love this piece. Well, it blends well. It does, yeah. Are these the Timu curtains? Yes. <laughs> Look, Michelle. Timu curtains. I, she told me about them last time, and I was like, what? And they're so good quality. And I brought Michelle these little puppies. Um, I literally was so excited. <laughs> she knows me well. I said, these look like Michelle. These are her style. Don't they just look perfect right there? So I said, I got to bring Michelle I might Michelle give them a little prize. trivet to sit on. I always <laughs> have to bring Michelle at least a little prize. She does. I love now it. Now we are in Michelle's beautiful bedroom. Is this a new bedspread? Yes. Yeah, so the bedroom did get a makeover since the last time I you were love here. It. I've always had the hearth and hand bedding. And I just wanted a little bit more color for now. Well, I kept the other one too. This is so you though. This yeah, looks, it's definitely me. This looks like and you. And it went perfectly with... That picture I'm obsessed with above our bed because it reminds me of the beautiful green in Ireland when we went. And then this used to have, we had real chunky furniture in here and I just was tired of it. It was very dark. Yes. And we had three large pieces that just overwhelmed the room. So when we uh, got rid of that furniture, I went with a shelf because it also gave me more room to decorate. And this is her sweet hubby. Yes. That's such a good picture of y'all. Yes. That's so sweet. That is actually, here, I'll show you that. Let me turn the lamp on for y'all. Okay, so um, my husband turned 50 this year. Yes. 
and his sister brought this to him. She lives in Florida um, for um, his birthday. I love it. Yeah, and I mean, it's the sweetest thing. Thank you for giving me direction. That is so yeah. sweet. And, uh, so he's her big brother. And um, that is so precious. I just thought that they were both crying. Now, it was funny because he opened it. He was tearing up. She was crying. Yeah. And then me and Lauren started crying. And we said, we don't know why we're crying. Uh, <laughs> we, I didn't know, know we, we didn't know what it is. We didn't know what it was. Y'all just got tore up. Yes, tore up. So I leave it sit right there on that because this is his side of the bed. So. So sweet. Everything's so pretty. Yeah, so this furniture we got at um, the state sale. Um, the two matching pieces. And it has that. some things on it, but I don't care. No. I mean, I, I guess I could take the time to, to cover it, but I didn't. No. Also, I'm still trying to decide about the poles. I'm trying to decide if I want to take the poles off and, and make them like the gold, you know, mm -hmm. the grass. But something in me just likes them I like, like them like this. that. So and I'm, the resale value would be way better. Yes. So leaving them like that. Yes. If you and when you, because you, you know you'll be change it. Well, the same. You know, I change my <laughs> mind so much, and then I'll be mad that they're gold. So pretty. Yeah, I ordered that so that I could have a place to display. Y'all, I love me some jewelry, so. I gotta have lots of spots for my jewelry. That's so cute. And here's her. Your Can I show your babies? Yes, those are some new pictures, finally. Those are, they're getting so, they're, yes, they're we, grown. Yes, I think. They're not babies. The, all the videos you've done have been the same. They're senior photos, and we finally got new photos. So cute. Of course, all of that, literally all of that is thrifted, minus the longer burger basket. I love those. Now, that is hearth and hand. Um, I just kept them on there. I thought they, they're They're very, yeah. it goes with the vibe uh -huh. for sure. And again, which I have another thing I'll show you that's William Morris. But the little tag on that floral one, the name is William Morris. You can Google that if mm -hmm. you like these kind of mm -hmm. things. And you'll see some wall art that I have that's William okay. Morris. But this is from At Home. No, okay. that's not right. Home goods. Okay. It's much cheaper if you wait for it to get to home goods. If you're trying to buy it online, you're going to pay full price. Yes. So if you just wait for it to get to home goods, you'll be able to get it at the cheaper price. So it's so um, cute. I just love his patterns. Well, you just, you're just very, everything's just very happy. Like yes. all the colors. Well, I told you. And the I prints. realized that color makes me yes. happy. It's just so bright. And I hear yes. your clock in there. It yeah, sounds the so pretty. Y'all are just all so photogenic. That was from fall. And I love the little sign above it. And when we have each other, we have everything. That's right. And I got that chair off Facebook Marketplace. It's I was so washed. You. It's so you. The cover and cleaned the rest up best I could. It is so you. Is that is this an older picture? Is this because I've never seen your hair look like that. Yeah, no, that's an older picture. One day at church, outside church. I don't even and say, well, Mel, it's about it's, well, it's about that long now, but yeah, and say your hair. Your hair's always been about the same, and I was like, that hairstyle, that, I've never seen you that. And my hair used to be thicker. The older I get, the thinner it gets. No. So, yes. Be losing my hair. Now we're coming into Michelle's hallway to her spare bedrooms that are so pretty. And what is the store that you bought this at, you were telling it's me? It's called Le Show, L-E-S-H-O, Beham, and they do a once a month warehouse sale. Um, she also will post on Instagram, and you can buy from her, and she'll ship it, or you can go pick it up if you're local. But I got that over there. I loved it. And this is my happy room that I call <laughs> it. It's so cute. I do here. like this room. And I've changed it just a little bit, but I kept it mostly the same. Just added some more pops of color. Um, and it's, I'm kind of funny. One thing will catch my eye, and then I'll have to go around go it. Around it. Yes. So, it, it was this vintage little pillow sham with the piping on it and it caught my eye and I thought Michelle you're not doing an entire room in pink it's so, so I did more. this is I'm kind of calling it garden it is gardenish it is very gardeny <laughs> so, so I just love it so I basically just went with florals and pops of color I love that too yes I love that I love the hat. Yes, and I just added, that normally just had just the little leather strap. So I added some ribbon and a flower for spring. 
of course, if y'all don't know my husband, um, that hangar is Sheraton Hotels. And um, he works for Marriott International, but they bought Sheraton. And so um, he's been there for 25 years now. And John Carter's little bunny he bought. Yes, my son bought me that bunny. Michelle has good kids. She was blessed with good babies. <laughs> And that's my, that's my husband's uh, uh, contribution to the decor. <laughs> yes, they're pretty, though. And that's, uh, oh, that uh, camera. His mom just brought me those when she came for his birthday. And they were uh, from their family. So, there's another shorter one that I had out, but I put it away for now. But, yeah, she said, you can keep them or sell them. I said, oh, I'm keeping them. Those are adorable. Yeah. and then that uh, radio came from his uh, dad. I love it. I just found this recently at thrift store, paid $12.99 for it, and I was supposed to sell it, but you, you here borrowed it, it I'm borrowing yes. it. I do that. I borrow, and then I'll sell it when I'm tired of it. There you go. Yes. She said I'm borrowing it for yeah. now. And this used That's to be. That's so cute. It's pink, too. I just did that. Oh, really? There was a roll of fabric in one of my vendor friend's booths. At the Trustful Mall, it was, I don't know, maybe $34 yeah. and 60% off. It was a whole roll of oh, fabric. Oh, dang. Yes. And this was a velvet seat cushion that was, like, gray. So, I thought, well, I'm just going to recover it. Well, you got to pop a paint to match your little cover. And it had three different layers of fabric under it. And you could see through all the ages <laughs> how many it had changed. I love it. So, I loved it. I love all the brightness The curtains in here. are from Amazon. They're pretty. Yes. So, here's the other William Morris I was telling you about. See how the floral kind of... Yes. I mean, that's his style. But these are animal prints and <laughs> Timu. <laughs> they're Michelle, how they're I find all the... They show up as a rolled canvas. They're yeah. not paper. They're no. nice quality. Yeah. And then I just bought the frame on um, Amazon. But you don't have to use the gold if that's not your no. style. They have brown, black, you know, whatever color you want. So, the frame costs more than the picture, but yes. so the whole deal is $35. That's good. I mean, yeah. I, I think that's good. Anyway, Michelle's our so, Timu tester. Yes. They may be taking all my information online. I'm not sure, but that's okay. Well, you can't take it with you, Michelle. Exactly. Oh, there's some pictures. Those yeah, so that's pretty. our family one. So pretty. Love it. And don't come up in here on Michelle and Jeff. Because no. they they pack in the heat in here. That's the whole family stuff, too. I love it. Jeff grew up hunting in Virginia, so. Well, hey, I love, my daddy loves to hunt. And yeah. I, I love to reap the benefits of the, deer, right. of the deer jerky and the summer sausage. This lives in the china cabinet mm -hmm. in the living room. Yes. Because this is from Jeff's granddaddy's house and it's an old Lefton. That's so sweet. And I thought, he can come out because yes. it's spring and come out to play. Yes, he can. Yes. He's so sweet. I just love him. That little bow and his cute little face. He is adorable. I just love this yeah. room. This is my little happy room. Yeah, I love this room. It gets good light too. It does. Now we're coming down the hallway and look, Michelle's even got her daggum bathroom <laughs> decorated. Mine looks like World War Three. Well, in in your defense, this is a spare bathroom that That's nobody true. uses. So. No, I'm telling you, yeah, I'm like, yeah, go in the spare, don't go in ours for the love. Do not go <laughs> in ours. It was dangerous back there. So cute. Well, it's been annoying me though that the towel racks are not gold, but I'm not switching them. No, it's fine. They're just too much trouble. It all blends. Love it. And I love this little zoom over here at this, um, I love oh, yeah. this. I would put a candle in, I don't know what it was for, but I just sat a candle down in there, but it's old. I got it from an estate sale too. It's cute. I love all the blue. Oh, look at these, those old home interior things. I put them on there as doorknobs. Those are cute. <laughs> it goes with your style. Perfect. It took some finagling to get them on there, but those are adorable. This is another happy room. <laughs> the first time we came over here, this was Lauren's room, and she had decorated it. Remember for yes, us? Yes, I remember that. She, she had was her, so proud. She had her Jordans display. Yes. She was in high school then, wasn't she? I don't, she may have been in cosmetology school. 
I can't remember. It's probably been, what, three years ago? Yeah. I love that. And Michelle yes. tried to get one from Sean, our friend, <laughs> and somebody had done bought it. So, Michelle had to go buy one off uh, eBay or I something. I did, and I had to pay more for it. And I got those. Again, I'm kind of a nerd when I come across something I love. Those gingham. Yeah. Do you remember back in the day, you would have seen those in Southern Living Magazine. Oh, Some yes. woman would have had gotten her curtains. Her bedding, her dust, yes. she would have had everything matching. Yes. And that's what those are. They're an old pair of gingham Euro shams. Look at the rope on them. I know. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's awesome. amazing. I love them. They are so cute. I think I paid $5.99 for them at the thrift store. And then my friend Mary Kate dug that, um, paid my number out for me. So <laughs> we were in a really yucky shed thing that we came across on the side of the road. He said, yeah, go on and look. And she got it. Yes. So cute. Everything's so cute. All right. Let's see here. In your pretty walls. And that's the Womack estate, right? It is, yes. So cute. I think this one's new and this one's new. I swap them out. This one is from my friend with um, the ugly duckling. She's she made so that. sweet. I love that. <laughs> still, still just got the one photo. With That's that. okay. That's okay. <laughs> I mean, it's popular now. So That's now we right. just have to leave it with the one. I love that. That's from Ireland. That's the one I was telling you. I think I, I thought I told you that man didn't want to sell it. Oh, that's right. That's and I right. Thought, uh -uh, you're going to sell it. It's, it's in your booth. You're going to sell it. I love it. Yeah. And then my friend, same friend, uh, Mary Kate, um, that was her husband's mother's. And um, she let wow. me have it. So I was so excited. Sweet. You, could, you could put a picture of me in here. Yes, that's what we'll do. We'll put a picture of Kayla in there. <laughs> so sweet. And everything's so pretty. All your little pillows are so I love fun. that heart shape and the ruffles. It looks, it's something like that reminds me of that Liz Marie. You know, do you yes. follow, that reminds me of something she would have. Yes. So, so cute, Michelle. But it always is. So. Yes. There's another old vessel, and it's, um, look at the tops. It's asparagus. <gasps> what? Yes, um, asparagus. It's so With cute. With I love it. So cute. That's a, I love little animals. Me too. I'm it's a their sucker. Faces. I'm a sucker for. You can't leave them somewhere. I know. What's that little thing? I think there's a TikTok. It's not specifically about animals, and somebody will say it's the something for me. Yeah. And I'm like, it's the faces. For I'm me. Like, their yes. faces are just so sad. You can't leave them. I know it. You just can't leave it's them. It's pitiful. They're just so cute. And Michelle's always got the cutest little peg racks. I love a good peg rack. I do too. I don't think I really swapped this one out very much because it was already kind of springy. I guess I didn't do it there the time go. before. There's a bird. Well, I did do it for Christmas, I reckon. But we had to skip Christmas because we had so much going I know. On. Everybody was sick and things were just... Yes. But this is going to be a better year. Yes. Well, yeah. Michelle, thank you so much for letting us come and... Your house is beautiful as always. I know everybody's going to love it. It's so bright and cheerful. And I know we're all ready for the bright, cheerful spring. Yes, I'm loving flowers and yes, color. And it's perfect. This makes me happy. It matches your personality. Yes. It's, it's, it's definitely you. Yes. And if you find out that the dog is missing, you'll know where it's at. <laughs> I think I picked another dog recently. I think we picked a dog and a cat. So if I did... I'll be sure. And, yes, let me know. Y'all didn't get to see the bonus room because it's a wreck right now. That's what's behind the scenes. It's yes, messy with all but, the stuff to, to clean and price. Well, look, my house is, I ain't got nothing started. Yes. So, I know everybody's going to be excited because this is our first spring video because I'm so far behind. Okay. So, I appreciate it so much. And tell them where your booths are. Come see don't know. me at Trustful Antiques. I have two booths. And I actually had to move booths. So, now they're kind of connected. And you can yes, walk that's nice. from one end to the other. And um, I'll give you a... I've got something I can share. I'm not doing any market events. Yeah. I'm still taking a break from that. Because I'm just getting old and tired. And 
Jeff and I like to travel, so. Yes. But I do have one new thing. My oldest daughter, Ashley, who y'all have seen probably in my picking videos. Yes. Um, she is gonna open a hallway space. Fun. Um, outside of my boots, and she's taking over the boho that I used to do, because that's her style, and she loves that, because that's, when I started that, because yeah. that was my girl's style. Um, so she's gonna have a little hallway space outside fun. of mine, and it is called Brighter Days Collective. That's so fun. And she's a school teacher. So she's just doing this for extra income and um, she loves it. So y'all have to stop by and see her. Yeah. She does have an Instagram, like I said, Brighter Days Collective. And um, thank y'all so much for coming in. Yes. I hope um, you enjoyed it. Again, you don't have to do it exactly. There are things on Pinterest that say Grand Millennial too, and they are fabulous. Yes. Fabulous, beautiful things. I just can't afford to decorate like that. So I just get little pieces and just make it your own. That's right. That, that's the main thing. Make it your own. Buy what you like. Don't splurge on the things unless you absolutely love it. Um, just get your stuff, you know, cheaper. So you can swap it out. That's right. Um, but yeah, thank y'all. And for just coming. create a home that you are happy in. Yes. Yes. Because you I just feel joyful. You with just all radiate. The colors. You yes. do, you look joyful. You're radiating <laughs> thank your joy. You. Thank and you. And I think a lot of it has to do because this is your happy place. And I still love my old Rusty Krusty stuff too, but um, I thought about maybe doing some of that in the backyard. Oh, yes. Because I have some stuff still laying around. I thought, yes. oh, that'd be cute to do a little spot in the backyard with yes. plants and stuff. So I might give that a whirl this summer. Well, thank you so much, Michelle. We just love you yes, and we're always so happy so to much. come. Y'all are always so supportive. Well, we love you and we'll see you next time. All right, bye.